pretty tall in some areas. All right. The beach. So let's see here. Basically, what we're about to do is get out here and see if the grass is going to be high enough for us to cut today uh, for this customer. Uh, we also go down into the ditch. Let me see if we can get your panorama right there. So we took care of the ditch about uh, four weeks ago. It didn't grow too much, uh, but I'm just going to take a look and see what's going on. So it does seem as though he needs a little trim uh, on his yard. Mainly the back part back here where the water likes to settle. We had uh, probably one little downpour of rain not too long ago. So yeah, mainly just his, his back portion here. Uh, we need to get trimmed up. And if we push this off for another two weeks, it'll be a little bit harder. So he has lives in a duplex. So he's got the front portion here as well. And down into his uh, ditch here. And we take care of both sides for him. So what I'll do here is uh, as soon as I'm done recording, we'll just hit him up and let him know where he's gonna trim it down because if it goes another two weeks, it's gonna be a little bit higher and harder to maintain, so. This is the side piece of the property. All right, so basically what's going down right now is the client didn't reach back out. It's been about uh, 15, 15, 20 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and knock this piece of property out in the event that he actually wants it done. Um, and he just didn't have time to respond. Uh, like I said, he's down lower 48. So, you know, it was a long journey. He's probably got the, um, uh, jet lag going on so hold on one second let me help my son get this stuff off of here and we got a variety of uh, tools so uh, I'm not sure why we brought the chainsaw but we got some weed whackers and other stuff up in the bed of the truck and we got a hedge trimmer that's the first time we're going to use that today and then of course we're out here battling these mosquitoes the earlier we get out here the better sometimes uh, a little bit cooler and those uh, mosquitoes aren't really worried about us and then as like a safety thing we went ahead and we got some cones out here uh, just kind of mark off the truck area and it's just one of those things the boys are learning Definitely over time and you got to make sure people don't have a reason to try and come after you saying they couldn't see your truck or whatever else out there so but yep, we're gonna go ahead and get out this property now, tackle it, knock it out, and then move on to the next one. All right, so basically the boys are finishing up here. Did a real good job. We got that, uh, that ditch taken care of. Of course, the front yard is knocked down a good little bit. Uh, the person's car is in the way, so we had to make sure we didn't touch too much of it. And then uh, took care of the ditch here. Knocked back the trees just a little bit more. It was a pain, but we got to it. And as you can see over here, we did a real good job. Knocked everything down. Uh, this customer doesn't mind the tree lining. 
uh, for some type of privacy. So we left a good little bit of that. And then back here, they don't do anything back there. So we just kind of left that the way it is. And this has been the norm uh, for the last three jobs here. So they did a real good job. Uh, we'll take it to the other side. What? You need what? Oh. So I'm about to take it to the other side and let you see what they what they did over here. And like I said, it's a two-part property, it's a duplex, and uh, it lasted two times times ago since we've been out here we came and knocked down all this so it was pretty high uh, he just wanted to take it back to the edge of the property uh, he wasn't worried about uh, the side over here he just wanted to if they wanted to pull a car back here they could uh, and then so we just took a little bit further just dipped it out a little bit more but if he needed this taken care of or even all back here uh, this is probably more than two years overgrown but we could knock all that out uh, we just need like an additional three hours uh, to do so and then he'd had uh, the entire backyard once again for this, this duplex property. So, so the boys are finishing up, like I said, over here. They got the, uh, the blower. Just making everything look as nice as possible. And then we're gonna tidy up this job. I'll text the customer, let them know uh, what we've done. Take some pictures, send it to them. And then uh, that'll be a wrap. We'll go and grab something to eat this morning and then we'll get on to the next job. Next job's gonna be a beast. Uh, the only thing that kind of saved us this morning uh, from not having too many mosquitoes is the fact that, uh, you know, we didn't mess with a whole bunch of gas. Uh, well, the lawnmower's gas, of course, but everything else is electric. So that cuts down the amount of uh, the carbon monoxide that we put uh, into the air, which is drawing the uh, mosquitoes to us. So uh, we're doing pretty good. So if we don't get too sweaty, we should be doing just fine. Yeah, we got probably like another five minutes of tidying up here and then we're gonna roll out. 